Hey y'all, happy Labor Day. It is Monday, Labor Day. I am out and about. This is Life of a Groovy Girl. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. So yeah, I'm out here at Willowbrook Mall. Uh, baby had to come to Lens Crafter, so I'm out here with him. So I may make a purchase or two, or I may not. So whatever I do choose to do, I will let you guys see what he do. So check back in in a little bit y'all No, I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me. Cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus. Uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out. Just don't 
Check for me. Okay, y'all, so I am leaving Willowbrook Mall. It's starting to get packed, so I'm leaving the mall. I did pick up two pair of shoes from Ikea and an outfit from Charlotte Russe. So once I get to the house, I'll um, show you guys what I picked up. I'm on my way now to Goodwill. I'm gonna stop off at Goodwill, see what I can find at Goodwill, and maybe Family Thrift. Actually, Family Thrift is right here. And then when I leave there, I'm gonna stop off uh, and pick up my target order. So I'll check back in with y'all in a little bit. Hey y'all. Okay, so I'm back from running my Labor Day errands. So I started off with the mall and I picked up a couple of things at the mall. 
and then I had a Target order. I had to go pick up a few groceries and then I made my way to GameStop to um, get his game or reserve his game or whatever you want to call it. So I took care of all of that. So I am in the she room and I am enjoying a nice glass of this Moscato di Asti. So this is one of the bottles that I picked up last weekend, but as you guys remember, I was under the weather, so, but this is it. Um, this is really, really good, just like I like it. It's bubbly and it's sweet, and of course, when it's cold, it's even better, but yeah, so I'm enjoying that. I'm actually recording with my ring light for the very first time, so I wanted to see how that would work, so it actually looks really well, so hope you guys are having a good day so far i really want some barbecue y'all but that ain't gonna happen so i wanted to go ahead and show you guys what i did pick up mm -hmm. from the mall so first and foremost i started out at charlotte roots and your girl got on the clearance rate and I found this little A-line skirt. It's stretchy. And I did try it on because all sales will find them. It's stretchy. And then this, uh, I did try it on, so I never put it back inside out. And this is a little tank that I bought as well. Now, both of these pieces were $3 a piece on clearance. And so I'm thinking what I'm going to do is probably tuck the tank in. I'm not really sure yet. And, um, or maybe wear a wide belt in the waist area. I'm really not sure yet, but yeah, that's what I picked up from Charlotte Rose. They had like a new color too for the skirt and I started to get it, but um, I didn't. So yeah, that's what I picked up from old Charlotte Rose. Yep. Yeah. Y'all already know what it is. Like, when I, you already know, so. Stopped off at Akira. So in store, they do still have the 90% off. Um, I'm not sure about the website. I haven't been on the website in a few days, but I got me a pair of Azalea Wayne's. Well, actually, they're both Azalea Wayne's. And so y'all already know about the packaging and stuff like that. They were in like little dust bags, but I took them off when I was trying them on in the store. And so, these are these beauties right here. So you got your clear acrylic heel, not too high. So no need to be doing no extra tipping. But yeah, kind of got that mule effect in the front. So yeah, I thought those are really cute. And I did try them on in the store to make sure that they fit. So I grabbed those from Akira. Um, let's see. And then, another pair of azalea wings as well now these are statement pieces so with these particular shoes they're going to have to be worn with a um with something solid a solid color because they already have a lot going on so here it is like a checkered i would say a checkerboard effect and it's green and white the heel is perfect i tried these on in store also um how I'm gonna rock these. Normally I'll know I'll pin like when I see them, but with these, I really don't know. I was thinking, I wanna say I have some, hold on, here I go with this big and hold on. Um, let me see, I think I have some, yeah, I do. So, I'm gonna I will probably, <sighs> these are new, never worn these before. I will probably like pair these together with a really cute um, white, I would say white top, probably. Not sure of the accessories, probably silver, I think. With a really cute, yeah, collared top or maybe a bodysuit. But yeah, this is really cute, so. And I got these shorts back in, I wanna say December from Charlotte Roos and they were $12 and I bought like five four or five pair i have them in like pink green blue black so yeah i haven't worn the blue ones or the green ones or the pink ones yet so 
yeah i would definitely pair these two together with a really cute top and a cute little um probably green bag or it depends on the, the bag i'm really uncertain of but yeah i would definitely put these two together <laughs> come through <laughs> come through so yeah that right there is a set for sure uh let's see what else so that's it from ikira and remember i was telling y'all i was gonna go do a little thrifting at goodwill so i went oh goodwill was off the chain just back i'm like so i got as you guys can tell from my videos i'm always in robes i love robes i have like a robe collection so i got this one right here and it was $5.99 it is a medium so I tried it on in store just to make sure but this is an oversized medium this is this is big but yeah it's a medium I thought it was really really cute so yeah tie that in the waist and yeah shit for six bucks you can't beat that but yeah like I said it's it's, it's um it has actually side pockets instead of pockets in the front so yeah got three rolls from goodwill yeah but goodwill's off the chain back i'm like well damn everybody in goodwill the mom wasn't no better so now this one right here okay so this one right here is kind of snug on me it's a medium also but i got it anyway because i know i'm you know with the little weight loss journey and stuff eventually i'll be able to get into it the the um arms are kind of snug on me so i know eventually hold on let me put this belt back to the ring hold on so yeah and actually this one is brand new brand new like it actually still has the actual tag from the manufacturer so oh wait i know you lying this came from Coles, baby apartment nine intimates and on the other side it says coals on it <laughs> brand new this is a medium too but this this medium runs small and i got this one for for 5.99 as well but like i said around around like the arm area is snug so probably won't be able to wear this for probably about maybe about another three months wear it and be comfortable but yeah so this is a medium also it's real cute just something to wear around the house and so either I'm gonna wash these in wool light on gentle cycle or I may just send them to the cleaners. I'm not sure yet. But y'all check this out. 100% silk. This is like a kimono dress. $2.99. Comfo Goodwill. I'm thinking, girl, play with me, I'll wear this outside. I get me a wide belt with this and some cute little heels. This is this is really really cute. Does it have pockets? But you can tell that it's real. That it's a hundred percent silk. You can tell that. But yeah, this was two ninety nine. I think this is really really cute. Really cute. So yeah. Oh, I may just wear it around the house. Either or. But like I said, I got the two these two um, regular robes for five ninety nine a piece. And then the little kimono dress for $2.99. So I end up spending I think like I think it was like 16 and some change with tax. And then I end up donating to round it up. So yeah, it was like 16 and some change. And I told her to just go ahead and round it up to um, donate to the I think it's like the Goodwill Fund or something like that. So I did that. But so yeah, that's it for now. Like I said, um, Akira still has 90% off in store. You may want to check the website. I'm not sure about the website. Showing the rules. A lot of the stuff that they had is mostly stuff that I already have. So I was like, I'm not going to keep buying the same stuff. And all this stuff I'm going to do is just sit in the closet with tags on it. So, but that little two piece, this, this orange and blue, I'm going to definitely rock that. And then I have some blue shoes, half boots that color that I'll put with it in probably a little orange bag or something like that. But yeah, so that's what I've done so far today. And so the rest of the evening is just gonna be pretty much
preparing for the work week, get ready for work, get my clothes ready and all of that because I need to be in bed by a certain time because you're about to be up at 2 in the morning. So I say, yeah, let me get on here real quick and show them what I picked up today. But that's pretty much it. I'm definitely not going to close this out. I'm going to just continue to add clips throughout the week and I'll probably upload it at the, the end of the week. Well, right before the weekend, I am off on Friday, as I stated, and that's when I'm going to start some of my maintenance, like my massage and different things like that. And the final things that I need for Saturday, I'll do all of that um, on Friday. So y'all have an amazing week. Stay safe. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It's hot today, but it's not like just, oh my God, stifling hot. But I do have this ring light on, and so it's shooting off so much freaking heat. But I just wanted to see what the recording was gonna be like with the ring light, and I actually like it. So, yeah, but those are the pieces. I told the young lady, Nakira, I said, baby, Akira, as much money as I spend here, they need to, they need to sponsor me. So she was telling me what I needed to do to reach out to them to possibly be a sponsor for Akira. So, and if y'all are ever in the Willowbrook area, I know y'all say, oh, you always in Willowbrook. Will between Willowbrook and Deerbrook are the closest miles to me. They're like on each, each end. So baby needed to go to lens crafters so that's why i ended up at willowbrook because i probably would have gone to their brook but there's not an ikea i really didn't have no intentions on even going to ikea but y'all know if i go to willowbrook i'm going to ikea so i'm gonna insert some pictures too after this of a romper that i did try on in two different colors and i'm possibly gonna go back and get it for this weekend but I already have an outfit, but I don't think that's the outfit that I told y'all that though. I don't think that's the outfit that I'm actually going to wear Saturday, but I'm going to go back and pick up this romper, but I will insert a photo after this of the romper in two different colors. Same exact romper, but just two different colors. I tried on an extra large and it was just too baggy in the front, even with your girl football. It's just, it was just too baggy in the front. So I had the young lady to bring me a large and I tried on a large. Now the large was actually kind of baggy as well. So I really could probably do a medium, but I'm going to stick with the large to be safe. And then she um, matched some strappy heels that they had there. So the thing about it is if I choose, I'm not going to tell y'all. So I'm going to let y'all see it for y'all self and then y'all tell me what y'all think. But yeah, after this clip, then I'm going to insert two photos of the, the romper in two different colors. And y'all tell me which one y'all think would look best. So um, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm about to get ready for the work week. Y'all have an amazing week. Stay safe. And I will check in with you guys in a day or so. Hey y'all, I'm back, so I'm here to close out this vlog. It's my Labor Day vlog, so it is Wednesday, and I am gonna close it out. Let's see. Oh, I'm on my second bottle of wine. I didn't finish the first bottle. I was just taste testing on the last on the last video. Now I'm on the second bottle. So this is the second bottle, y'all. Rose, Rosa, Rose Imperial is what he told me when I was in Total Wine. And I'm using a different wine glass, this little straight up and down little flute glass. I got these in a box of four from Marshall's for like $24.99, I think. But yeah, this is the one that he let me actually taste in store. And it is really, really good. Really sweet, really good. It's not bubbly, but it's sweet and just like I like it. So that's what I'm sipping on tonight. Mm -hmm. got my cactus blossom candle burning from bath and body works 
let's see what i needed to show y'all okay so oh let me show y'all what i did do i went downstairs in the master closet and i got out a couple of pair of my fedora hats i have my let's see i have this one i have my brown one i got these from forever 21 i haven't worn yet though i have the brown one I have this one, and then I also have this one. I think I may do like, um, maybe some hooks on the wall, maybe, I haven't decided yet. So yeah, those are my fedoras. So I just have them kind of stacked up here like this. So let me show y'all the outfit that my daughter got for me for, for me from Mad Rag over the weekend. I didn't show y'all this on, um the other day uh monday so this came from mad rag it's a two-piece set it's actually a body it's actually a bodysuit it's it's kind of sheer it kind of has that i want to say denim background look on it like jeans and buttons and all of that pockets and stuff so like i said it is sheer and i would definitely have to wear a black bra underneath and then it has the tights to go with it. So I thought that was really cute. And I'm not gonna lie, these tights. Only thing about these tights, they're large. And so I might need to run back out there to Katie Mills and get the medium because when I put these on, literally, I have to like, now mind you, I'm 5'5". Five five. I have to wear them like almost up here to get a good fit. Yes, I'm in my little boy shorts. But it's all good, you know. So I think I might run out there and get the mediums and just keep these to maybe wear to the gym or something like that. But I really think that the, the medium, the fit of the mediums would be a lot better than this large. And um, so yeah, that's really cute. I may pair this with, I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. I can't show y'all right now, but show y'all in a minute. So yeah, this is this is the set. I should have shown y'all this on Monday when I was in here filming, but I didn't. So let me show y'all. Girl. They need to just ban me from Willowbrook Mall. They need to ban me from every entrance. They need to shut the door when I when they see me coming in Ikea. And that all that's all it is to it. So went back in Ikea again. Mind you, I was just there on Labor Day. It's now Wednesday. They changed the sale already. Monday, the sale was buy one, get the next one half off or something like that. Well, they've changed the sale. So now the sale is buy one pair, get a pair free. <laughs> Come through Akira. Oh, let me share this with y'all too. So I have a scale in my upstairs bathroom and I have a scale downstairs. So I weighed myself in the scale, on the scale up here upstairs, and it said, gave me some numbers. I'm like, no. Trip went downstairs and said the same exact thing. So your girl has lost a total of five pounds in a week, and I'm seeing it in my clothes, and I'm definitely seeing it here. When I lose weight, I always see it here first. So, oh. <gasps> superstar. But anyway, so yeah, I'm excited about that, so five pounds down let's see how much more i can get off i'm definitely losing inches as well because i can tell the difference in how my clothes fit but it's starting to show actually on the scale now so leaving that sugar sodas and all this stuff alone has definitely helped me out a lot i see a lot a lot of changes in my skin and stuff like that so yeah i don't have no lashes on just a little bit of makeup i have on my love me burgundy wig i think this wig is i think 16 inches Okay, so. Y'all, please don't say nothing, please. <laughs> Again, I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna probably have to end up buying like two more shelves there. Like, cause I'm starting to have to put shoes around the perimeter of the walls here. 
and like my boots and stuff i haven't like my thighs and stuff i haven't even put those out yet like those are still in boxes and closets so in the closet so i'm gonna probably have to end up get, getting two more um shelves in order to make room so um i hate the clone y'all already know what it is like I said, it's buy one, get one free. So I don't know how long this sale is gonna last, but it's buy one, get one free. I'm gonna try my best not to go back in there. My God, like, and then it's like, when I was in there, they was steady like rolling out racks with brand new stuff on it. And I'm like, I ain't gonna lie y'all. I need to get me a job at Akira. I'm sure all of my money will be going like, you know what? Don't even give me a paycheck. Just, just let me get merchandise. And eventually I'm gonna have to purge and like either give some of this stuff away or sell it because a lot of this, a lot of stuff that I have is still brand new. Never been worn, still have a tag. Here we go. <laughs> I like. So they are some denim heels. They have the little blinged out part in the front. Like a slight, I would say, um, platform around here and that heel is perfect like I said I don't want to go too high and then it really depends on the event because like a concert or something when I know I'm gonna be doing a whole lot of walking like this is perfect because I ain't got time to be tipping and holding on to stuff to keep from falling we're not doing all of that we're trying to be cute but we ain't trying to be doing all that so yeah that's this is um so these are a light denim and then you have your blinged out effect here in the front. Thought that was real sexy. Oh, uh, possibly can put it with this for sure. So who knows what I'm gonna wear it with? Ain't no telling about me. But so yeah, that's the first pair. And now these I was kind of upset about because uh, I'm like, where my little dust bag in? Using corners at your Wayne. Come on, my here, y'all slipping. And then I got this pair. Now these were in the dust bag. So they're not luxury, but still give me my dust bag. Mm -hmm. So these, now I'm going to tell y'all this. On the box, the color is, it says that they're green. And these are some strappy heels. So I guess it is like a yellowish, lime greenish type thing. And... Heel is perfect. They are strappy, like I said. And then at the um, at the ends, they have these little gold pieces. Really cute at the ends of the strap. So that's going to be real cute, real sexy. Um, kind of have like a woven effect here in the front. I thought that was really cute. I did try them on because that's the only thing about Ikea. When y'all buy those shoes, oh, look like a grease monkey. My skin's so just shiny. Um, please try your stuff on because... All sales is final, so can't get your money back, can't go back and act up and cut up and cut some out and all that when you can't get your money back. I always ask questions, hey, is all sales final? They should tell you, most of the time the associates will tell you, but girl, I'll be in there so much, you don't even have to tell me, I already know, and then it's on the receipt anyway. So, y'all went back in there, for not for that, but for something else, but then I ended up stopping, and actually, these can actually be paired with this to kind of throw it off a little bit in the denim bag. It, or like I said, you can do these with white, do these with silver in a silver bag. It just really depends on you, how you feeling and what look you're going for, how you would want to pair them. So I really don't know. I really haven't even decided. I was thinking, I was like, you know what? This might be the outfit I wear to the little get together Saturday, but I think I'm gonna, I think I've changed my mind. I don't think that's going to be that, I don't think that's the look that I'm going for. It may just be something I step uh, put on if me and baby step out somewhere or if I step out to go have a drink or something. But I don't think I want to wear that Saturday night. So that's that. But y'all yeah, was like, girl. So been having a little, little womanly issues the last two weeks. So. My doctor has been, ref and this is a this is ladies talk. So hold on, let me get my wine for this. So, 
My doctor has been refusing to give me a hysterectomy, <laughs> ladies. So she put me on this medication. Okay, for, let, let me let me rewind. Okay, had an ultrasound, found fibroid tumors, did a biopsy, came back negative. God is good. Fibroid tumor tumor is only the size of a cherry, I wanna say she said. So with that being said, um, I guess that's not enough for the insurance company to approve the procedure. Cause now with hysterectomies, it's a lot more strict now. It's not just, oh, I got a fiber, I take this thing out. Nah, it's not like, at least with United Healthcare and that's who I'm with, it's not like that no more. So she put me on this medicine. I'm real leery about prescription medicine because it had, they have so many side effects that they don't tell you about. And so I said, okay, so these pills I am supposed to take on my heavy days. Anyway, the girl been going ham for about two weeks straight. Mind you, I'm already anemic. So your girl been going ham for like two weeks straight. I mean, lightheaded, dizzy, bad headaches. I already know what it is. So I'm like, okay, I may have to go to the ER. They may have to give me a transfusion. Now, mind you, the last time I had a blood transfusion was 17 years ago when I gave birth to my son. I lost a lot of blood and labor. And so they gave me like, I think like two or three liters of blood right, right after giving birth. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Call the doctor's office. Um, oh, we'll bring you in, give you, uh, okay, so there's three, they call them medical, oh God, what does she call it? The nurse on the phone, medical management is what it's called. So there's three steps to this medical management in order to be approved for a hysterectomy by United Healthcare. <laughs> that I pay for every month, Shit, every week when I get paid. Ultrasound, biopsy, medication. Failed all three, none of them work. Set you up for this consultation with the doctor. We're gonna get you scheduled. It's like the first date available to get you in and get you to get this hysterectomy. Now, mind you, they don't wanna do these hysterectomies for a lot of reasons and I get it. It's a lot of side effects. However, my ovaries are still good. So leave my ovaries, you know, girls still want to, you know, so don't take my ovaries. Oh, this, or oh, your bladder is going to drop, or you, you're going to lose your sexual desires, or you're going to lose your sex, your wetness. I'm not, hey, baby, look, let me tell you something. That's what you got, KY jelly for, that's what you got, Vaseline, whatever, whatever we got to do to improvise, get this up out of me. Like, it's getting, it's getting to the point, it's getting ridiculous now, so. That's what I've been dealing with. Even though I've been going through that, I've still been managing to vlog and try to get some type of content out for you guys. So I have an appointment on next Wednesday at 11. So I'm gonna have to leave work early to go to that appointment to have yet another consultation. And that's what she called it on the phone. I'm like, well, is it really a consultation or is it just an appointment? To me, it's just an appointment to tell me, hey, this little medical, <laughs> Anyway, so this little thing didn't work. This little medical management didn't work. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get you scheduled for your hysterectomy. So I go next Wednesday to um, on the 13th to see the doctor and get that set up and stuff like that. How soon they're going to do it. The soonest appointment they have available, I do not know, which means now I have to go through HR at my job to get the FMLA set up, which my job will pay up to 12 weeks of FMLA. So I'm good on that. And so... I kind of was like, do I want to take off? Look, let's get this done, let this, let's get this over with. So I know I won't be able to drive. I don't really know how long, I think it's like a week or so you won't be able to drive. There are gonna be a lot of restrictions. I don't know how long it'll be before he will release me to, um, oh baby, this rain like, um, to exercise and whatnot. And then I, of course I'll be out of work for like six or eight weeks. But with that being said, that will definitely give me time to get, once he at least releases me to drive, then I'll be able to go out and get more content. And at least for six or eight weeks, I'll be considered a full-time con uh, content creator because I won't be working. I won't be going to, I'll be working, getting content for you guys, but I won't be going to my actual work, my, my regular job, my nine to five, so. Yeah, that's what your girl been dealing with. So I'm over it. I'm ready for it to be done and get it over with. Like I said, as long as you leave my ovaries, doctor, we're good. 
So yeah, I just wanted to come and show y'all those two little pair of shoes. Y'all, I'm gonna try not to go back to the goddamn mile. I'm s anyway, closing out this vlog, my Labor Day vlog. I'm kind of late on it, but rather late than never. I'm gonna open up a new vlog at the end of the week. And that's just gonna be basically what I'm doing for my birthday and getting birthday preparations together and stuff like that. So yeah, so everybody that's got your invite, you, the ones that are gonna come and attend, come on, come on through. Hang out with your girl, buy with your girl, take some pictures. Oh yeah, by the way, so if you do attend, we will be filming. It will be other YouTubers there as well. So just be advised that there will be other content creators there that will be, you know, getting content for their channels as well. So pictures being taken, all that good stuff. So come on through, hang with your girl. Let's finish out this week. Y'all enjoy it. And until we meet again.